Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we will see the shell script to automate log rotation. Uh, focusing on MongoDB log files as an example. So as you know, log rotation is essential for maintaining system performance and ensuring that log files do not consume excessive disk space. So by automating this process, you know, we can manage the log files more efficiently without the manual intervention. So first, let's see the prerequisites. You should have an AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 EC2 instance up and running. Then you should have a basic knowledge of shell scripting. So let's move on with the practical. Our first step is install MongoDB on Ubuntu. So first we will update the system before starting the installation process. So for that command is sudo apt update. So let's run the command. Now let's import the MongoDB public GPG key. For that, let's copy this command and paste it. After this, let's create a MongoDB org 7.0. File for Ubuntu. So let's copy this command. Test it. After this, let's reload the package database. Now let's install the latest version of MongoDB. After installing the MongoDB, let's reload the diamond service using the sudo systemctl diamond-reload command. After this, enable the MongoDB. Then start the MongoDB. Now let's check the status if MongoDB is running successfully or not. As you can see, our MongoDB is currently active and running. Let me just open another tab. Now our next step is set up the MongoDB authentication. For that, we will start by connecting to the mongosh using the mongosh command. Now we will create a user, but before that, we will connect to the admin database. 
switch to the admin database using the use admin command. So let's copy it. Then we will create a new user. Here our username is phosphatins and we also set a password for it and you should also define roles. After this, exit the switch using this command. Now our next step is create a script file. So we will create a log underscore rotate dot sh script file using the nano command. So let's copy this script. Now inside of it, we will write a shell script. So this is the script. Let's copy it. And paste it inside our file. So as you do, the script starts with the shebang line, which specifies the interpreter we'll be using, which is dash. Then our next is next section is exit order. Here we have written set hyphen it, which ensures that the script will exit immediately if any command returns. Uh, non zero exit status. And then our next section is check if Mongo is installed. This will check if it is if Mongo is installed and if not, the script output sent error message and exit. We will return a message and Mongo could not be found. Please install it before running the script. Then our next section is define MongoDB connection phase. Here we will define the username and password. This will choose the value of the environment variable, which will be MongoDB username and MongoDB password. And the if condition checks if either valuable is unset or empty. And if it is not set, then it will return a message MongoDB username or password is not set. So it set the MongoDB username and password and then it will reverse. Then our next section is trigger MongoDB log rotation. This defines the MongoDB command to rotate the logs. Here this this will execute the log rotation command using the mongosh with the provided username and the password and if the command fails the error message is captured and the script exits we can error the error message will be failed to rotate the mongodb logs and the error message and if the log rotation command executed, then it will wait for the rotation to complete. It will wait for the 120 seconds. We have written here the script 120. Then our next section is define search criteria for the log files. This specifies the, the log directory search where to search it, which is part to the log directory, which is where log MongoDB. The next section is find and delete the old log files. This will specifies the directory where MongoDB log files are stored.
written a message mongo db logout rotation is not completed successfully and if not then it will return a message error offer during the cleanup of the log files so let's save the file Now our next step is set up our environment variables. So let's set up the MongoDB username and password. Now here we have set up the MongoDB variables. Now after this, make the script executable for that we will use chmod plus x command to make our script executable now after making the script executable our next step is run the script let's copy this command paste it Now it will wait for 120 seconds, it's two minutes. I will pause the video in the meantime. So as you can see, our MongoDB log rotation and cleanup is completed successfully. So now let's verify the log rotation. For that, we will list out the files from we have log MongoDB directory to see if new log file has been created or not. So let's copy this command and paste it. So here, as you can see, Mongod log, which is our latest log file, is created. And you can see the Mongod log, dot log, with the timestamp. Which is a rotated log file. So today we have seen the shell script to automate the log rotation. So automating the log rotation using the shell script ensures that efficient log management and prevents the log files from consuming the excessive disk space. And by following the steps which we have seen today, you can set up the reliable system to rotate and clean up a MongoDB logs automatically. And this practice not only enhances the system performance, but it will also simplify the log maintenance, allowing you to focus on more critical tasks. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you.